Next on iCarney's Garage. We have a 2022 Polaris XP1000, man. YouTube is your boy, Iron Carney, and today at the iCarney's Garage, man, we have a 2022 Polaris XP1000, man. I happen to be driving by. I seen this parked on the side of the street, and if you guys don't know, one of my dream toys is a side by side, man. So to see this thing lifted exactly how I would want mine, man, it was like, man, I had to call in. The guy told me I can come in, we can take it for a test drive, and we could take a look at it, man. So I came here to get this content for you guys because, hey, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we ain't buying this, but one day, maybe with some YouTube money, we can. We can go money and get some more content, man. Hey, I wouldn't put it past me. You know, part of me being here to look at it is kind of a way of, you know, giving me motivation and pretty much manifesting it. So let's get into today's vid. This is like an old Bentley, right? Yeah, it's a 1999 Oh, yeah, this is clean. Back in 1999, $346,000. Sheesh. Back then. Back then. Now, world, now the market's like all crazy. Dang. Wow, this is clean. It's something about old cars. It just. Right, 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 right. Dang, this is clean, guys. Something about old cars, man. Something about old cars. Just so clean, man. Bentley Azor. Love it, love it, love it. Dude. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, he had it previously. Yeah, yeah he's, he's got a lot of cars, and uh, this is a toy. He has uh, an RV, and right, when he right. travels, he hooks up a trailer, he puts his truck on the RV, and he right. used to have a golf cart. But I guess he went to a place where he saw a lot of these things, and he was in his golf cart, and these things were just flying by him, so he got a little, and he ended up buying this, but he goes over the top of everything. So when he got it, it was stock, obviously, and he put the disc brakes, the lift, right. Uh, he, he, he yeah, this, is, this is clean. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's different from what you see. No, yeah, yeah. I've definitely seen a couple, but this is like next level. Okay. Oh, this is clean. Guys, so this side by side actually has a tag on it too. So it actually is street legal. Right, so behind it is the tag where you were talking about where it's street yeah, legal, exactly. right? So, okay. Um, whoever purchases it is going to actually be purchasing the corporation itself. Right, right. So you don't have to re-register or anything like that. You'll just get the corporation papers. And right. right, 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 right. Oh, this is nice. That would be the tag, guys, and stuff. Can we see the inside? Yeah, of course. Okay. Guys, this is clean. This blue is like, do you know the name of this blue? I don't know. No, but I oh. think you might have to Yeah, this is one cool. kicker there. There's another one in the front. Jeez. I mean, he tricked it out. It's got starlight. Right. And obviously, you know, these things, the, the actual intent of the side-by-side -side is right, not right. to be so fancy, but right, when you right. put all the work into it, you can appreciate it. Oh, yeah, this and is you cool. can drive it on the roads. Appreciate you. Oh, it opens out like that? Oh, shoot. Shit. AC? AC? AC, it's got, uh, I, I, honestly, I don't know all the things that it's got myself because it's got so many things. Uh, no, bro, this is, uh, bro, this is, uh, bro, this, right, right, right. Obviously, the utilities of it, it's a beam that it is an off-road vehicle, like, right. take off the windshield and all that sort of thing. But it's nice to have AC. Right, 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 right. Especially like if you take this thing mudding and it gets hot and you exactly. want to pull everything up yeah. and you just turn on the AC. Like you basically could mud in peace. <laughs> you can <laughs> off-road in peace, yeah. And then it's got the, so those are watercraft speakers so they can actually get wet. Right, right, right. right. There's a lot to tell. I just, I, I myself don't even know all of the, the features in it. Because right, right, right. This guy really went at it. Um, but we have the list, we have the bench. Yeah, being that it's, uh, Oh, met for mudding. Right, right, right. You've got, first, it puts it in low and then you put it in high. Right. So the high gear is more for like, if you want to get a little bit more speed. Okay. Now this is clean. It's smooth too. I think the wheels on it are 4G autos when they're on this thing. Really? I, 
didn't look at the brand. Oh, yeah. But they're super wide. Yeah, this thing's clean. I, I haven't tested it myself, but supposedly it goes up to 60 miles an hour. I'm thinking, like, if you took this thing on the road, right? I would just say local road, right? It wouldn't be smart for highway. Nah. I don't. I wouldn't recommend it. Just right, Because, right. I mean, if your max is 60 miles an hour, right. and you, by necessity, have to go a little bit, you know, right. faster than that, you wouldn't right. want to put yourself in that position. Right. But, uh, yeah, you, I mean, you're good. For all intents and purposes, if you want, if, like, let's say, you have maybe, a house in the Keys or something right, right, like that. Right, Or maybe, like, a quick, literally something where you would hop on for, like, maybe, like, two minutes and get right off. Exactly. Exactly. Right, right. yeah. All things considered, what I was saying about the speakers, it's got, um, they're actually a watercraft speaker, so they can get wet, and they hook up directly to your phone, and then right. it's got four of them, so it gets pretty loud. Right. Oh, yeah, I've heard these. Oh, yeah, these are JL Audio. Yeah, these are loud. Yeah, these are super loud. You've got, uh, I just don't know how to turn them on. We have to start flipping switches. Right. You've got the light bar on top. You've got two uh, high beams. Bottom, right. You've got the two winches, so I mean, off roading you're covered. If you get into a tight spot or something like that, you gotta get, you gotta pull yourself out. You won't right. have an issue. Right. This thing looks like it jumps. Like it's. somebody's mouth drop <laughs> yeah like if you've got a again i mean you gotta have utility for it because if you right. have a big garage you have to justify having this thing right right what's the gas it takes like 87 89 i think so yeah i think it's a bike engine i think it's okay. a, a two-stroke a thousand so I, yeah whatever it probably with 87 right right i don't think it takes like specialty gas right all right guys so that was that i'm not gonna lie bro that ride that ride was clean like i will say that side by sides are definitely the shit man like riding in that thing felt good felt good i'm not gonna lie though I don't know, it just felt so good. Like, it had AC in it too, as you guys could tell. Like, that thing had AC. So, like, you know, if you're ever muddy and, you know, you want to turn the AC on, pull the windows up, you can. You could basically mud in peace, man. That was a cool little ride, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I'm glad that I got to experience what it felt like to ride in a side by side. And you never know, man, I'm manifesting it right now. One day, we're going to get that side by side, man. Day two. Just came back to check on the crib. We've been working on this house for a while. Not sure if you guys have seen in my previous videos how this house used to be before, but we just put some marble up, closet doors. The finishing around here a little bit. Uh, yeah, this house is looking real good. This marble's beautiful we just added this this is going to be the bathroom finishing that out yeah this house is going to be beautiful probably have to get that well the wall will probably be painted so this house is looking good just put that in there oh yeah this house is looking so good man bye have a great time